Hello, it's Enrico here. For who doesn't know me, I'm passionate about technology and robotics. And today I want to talk to you about the Uncanny Valley. What is the Uncanny Valley? It's a theory that was created by Professor Masahiro Mori, a Japanese professor in 1970, that tries to link the human likeness of the robot, which means the aspect of the robot, to the familiarity that we have towards the robot. At the beginning of the curve, we have no human likeness, which means that the robot doesn't look at all like a human, and hence we have no familiarity for the robot. An example is a kitchen robot. A kitchen robot doesn't look at all like a human, and of course we have no familiarity and no affection for it. Increasing the human likeness, also the familiarity for the robot increases. We can think about a vacuum cleaner robot. A vacuum cleaner robot doesn't look at all like a human, but it moves, it moves around the house, so we can think about it as a pet. And hence, we have more affection for it than for a kitchen robot. Increasing human likeness even more, which means that we can add to the robot legs, arms, a head. The affection for the robot increases. We can think about the robot Asimo, for who knows it. Or we can think about the robot Wally. Wally has arms, a head, eyes, and so the affection that we have for it is much bigger than for a vacuum cleaner robot. We consider it cute. Increasing human likeness even more, which can mean adding hair, skin to the robot, then the affection for the robot dramatically drops in the unfamous uncanny valley. Falling in this valley, it means that we no more have affection and familiarity for the robot, but we have repulsion for it. We can think about a humanoid android with synthetic hair and skin, or we can think about the example of a professor that in the recent years created a robotic copy of himself. We can still tell that the robot is a robot, even if it's pretty similar to the professor. And this thing is creepy. For climbing up the uncanny valley, we have to make robots so similar to humans that it's impossible to tell the difference. Then, of course, the affection is maximum, is the same that we would have for a human. This, of course, is not reality yet, uh, but it's a case of TV series such as Westworld, a TV series where robots are so similar to humans that it's impossible to tell the difference. So, given all this, what's going to be the aspect of robots in the next 10, 20, 50 years? Well, we don't have the technology to make robots too similar to humans. So engineers are trying to make robots look like Wally in order to have affection for them instead of repulsion. So don't worry, there's not going to be any dystopic scenario in the next century, but we're going to have tiny cute robots in our houses.